Hey folks, what's happening man? We got a special edition here for you, another cousin edition. Other brothers Dempsey. Woo! Another jailbreak. Someone broke out of jail, broke us out some beers. Yes. That we have state. not. Yeah, we have not yet had before. Um, we have a, uh, a fugitive is on the loose here <laughs> in Ridley Park, and uh, we've captured him, but uh, he won't be turned over to the authorities anytime soon. Because we got some beer drinking to do. That's right. Unless I get pulled over after this, and let's. Oh, hope let's, that, let's oh, hope that hell you know. I mean, Jesus, God. You know how Doko can be, though. You know what I mean? I know. You can be walking from here. And it's a, lot, a, it's you, a lot different these days than it used to be. I'll you've been you. on the Delco Grand Tour since noontime, probably, or so. Uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. Okay, we're not gonna tell you what time we're filming this, but uh, you know, some time has passed since then. Yeah, so a little bit of time. But our cousin Jeff, welcome aboard again. Thank Second you. Second time, or welcome to the two timers club. Yeah, I know. Do I, do I get awesome. it? Like in Saturday Night Live, you used to get like a, yeah. you know, you got something <laughs> if you like came back a couple of times. I was thinking or something that. like that. We'll think you get so, free beer. That's about yeah, all. All right, all we got. I'll, I'll take it. Actually, I'll think, take it. I'll I think both times we got beer for free, but <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that, yeah, that's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You've learned the hard way that the more you yeah. come back, the more yeah. you give us, and that's just not you know. But we have so much fun hanging out and drinking beers, and it's a great thing because it's just a natural wow. family occurrence now. Like we just like to get together and have some beers and talk about beers and cumber. Uh, we got one from uh, jailbreak. From jailbreak. Again, not the big Punisher, but a uh, smaller version. Yeah, nice little light-hearted, maybe. I don't know, heavy on the alcohol, but light on the taste, perhaps. Who yeah. knows? What do you think about this one, Jeff? It's this one is my favorite summer beer. This uh, is the cucumber. The last time I came up. Wow, favorite summer beer, folks. If you will. Was the double IPA. Right there. Yeah, we had the big Punisher. <laughs> nice to say it's double. Um, I'm going to let it breathe for a little I'm going to open it and let that was it a breathe fail. for a little bit because last time I failed a little bit, it uh, it over-foamed on me, so I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to really? let it... I'm going to open it. I'm going to keep it there for a few seconds. Um, but it's very light. It's very refreshing. It's probably my favorite mm. jailbreak beer that I've had. And Jailbreak wow. is a brewing company, if you don't know about it, down in Maryland. It's starting to make its way. Most of the bars are um, uh, allowing their amber lagers to be on tap, and mm. they're selling to them. But this one I've never seen in a bar. And I honestly, even Jailbreak doesn't brew this one that much, but no? I'm a fan of it. So, it and I wanted, and I definitely wanted my cousins to uh, drink it because it's a little different than what probably they're used to. So, yeah. I just wanted to give this one a go. It smells give this one freaking a delicious, man. It smells awesome. So let's give it a smell before we even. Mm. Sip it, unless cousin Steve already sipped. No, it. no, I will not sip. Not until you guys did. are ready. Absolutely not. I think, I, osmosis, before, but I think he already had two or three sips, but... No, oh, it smells great, though. That cucumber oh, really... Yeah. You know what? This well is actually... Young. They did do some artwork yeah, on this. Yeah, I think, no, it, it is a little corny. It's, right? it's, a, it's a guy in a hammock <laughs> drinking, a mar <laughs> drinking a martini of all things. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, come yeah. on. I mean, he's a, he's can't he be farmer. drinking a can of beer or something he's like that? Over a bed of cucumbers. Like, what kind of nightmare is this? And he's got a little twig stick or something going on. Don't fall out of the hammock and land in the bed of cucumbers. Yeah, he's got kind of like a cucumber martini out here on the on the farm. This is definitely an unfiltered jobber, though. Look at this thing. Holy crap. Look at yeah. that. It's, it's, not it's, a, o, it's not O-Cumber. It's Cucumber. O-Cumber. It's not <laughs> O-Cumber. Um, yeah. All right, let's take a sip. Screw this. Yeah, that's different. You definitely mm. smell the cucumber when mm. uh, when you take... You know, a whip. So, so I think, yeah, I'm not even oh, ready man. to drink a beer yet. It's so, I mean, it looks a little heavy. It looks kind of cloudy. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. But I'll tell you. Wow, it's mm. very cloudy. I love it, though. I love the taste, though. Whoa. It's definitely got that Saison presence, for sure. It's definitely got that, that Belgian kind of yeast thing going on. Yeah. But, I um, like that. It really, it's a perfect bed for that odd melon It is nice, taste. but yeah, for a weird kind of cucumber kind of deal, it's it's good. I heard I we were told we're not allowed to say what the alcohol percentage of this is, but right. you'd be surprised. It's on the heavier end of the spectrum. A little bit. Yeah, my friend Steve mentioned yeah, that, Steve. too. Thanks for the wide... Yeah. Wise words, folks. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, we didn't know we couldn't say that stuff, so mm -hmm. we'll just say it in code word by hockey player name. I will say, we were out all night, and this is the tastiest beer I've had all night, you know? So really? Thank God, thank God my taste buds aren't totally destroyed. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah, and we've had some Thomas Hooker stuff. We did some, uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> and throw the hooker in there. Why is this so funny? I'm a hooker. I don't know. Yeah. That's the only reason they did that brewery. All right. Yeah, I, made, I made it sound a little They're bit. They're going to buy our stuff, stuff if we name it yeah, a certain way. Yeah. I had a beer from Horsemith Ales last night. Oh, my God. It was great. No, there was Founders. Um, uh, you know, there was mm. uh, Yards, because we're in Philly. Mm. And um, Let me just tell you something. As a hipster, this beer, I'm in love. Dude, I like love, it. No. That, no, I do love it. Though. I like right. it a lot. It's awesome. I know you guys have like a five tier system or whatever it is. Nah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's an untapped rate. Is system, it a little bit different than other beers that you've absolutely. had that are? The, yeah, it's like a Long Island iced yeah. tea of beer. It's really refreshing, but I can tell it packs a punch too, though. But it has a lot. Of, I, what I'm getting more than anything else is like, I get the cucumber still, which is nice. You get a cucumber nose. But it's like a pepperiness too, which is really nice. I like the pepperiness. I think we should have drank this in a big goblet. Yeah, because it got. <laughs> Seriously, because it smells that awesome. This right. needs like a big nose type of glass, like something you can really mm. smell it and just kind of sip it small. Hopefully this makes the owners there want to brew this a little more often than mm. they do. Because I'm telling you, it it does not happen often. Dude, this thing's hearty. Yeah, it's, it's really good. This is not a poundable beer, but... No. But, but no, I could. I'm gonna, if I'm you will, challenged me. I will pound it. I will pound <laughs> it. No, but you were seeing like summer beer, like it's got like, all that great flavor. Because typically your summer beers, you know, you, you tend, you can drink them faster because they're lighter and mm -hmm. things like that. And again, we don't what say is, what is the percentage is. this a summer seasonal or is this like a... Yeah, this is a se No, the, I would call this a seasonal. I would definitely to call this To me, this, this is a nice transition seasonal. kind of. This is a nice kind of late summer kind of beer. Yes, I mean, absolutely. Really, it's, it's, it's hearty, but it's light. But it's, maybe you could pound this. A little melony? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to pound it. I don't care. Mmm. It just doesn't have that light mouth feel that I kind of expected from a cucumber beer. I thought it was gonna be like and a really thin. Trying to emphasize the, the the body of it. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like a really thin, feel. kind of watery kind of. Right. Okay, you throw some cucumber that. in there, like a cucumber watery I, right, kind of I thing. Right. Expected a higher held cucumber melon. Or something. Yeah, but it, it, it's a saison in its heart, which is what I like. It really has a nice, hearty, a hearty core to it, which is. It's awesome. It's good. It's really I'm going to be honest with you, though. I was kind of surprised. I got this maybe a month ago or so ago, oh, and I don't even remember when I'm getting it on draft Enjoy there by. that it was this cloudy. Like when you're looking at it, look, it looks like you're yeah, like drinking like rum and orange juice or something. And so it's a wheat based beer. Or? Yeah. Well, if you look at the, you know, it's oh. almost like there's some things that are in your A1 sauce that you put on your steak. But <laughs> at least the Run orange. Down. Run at down. least at least the orange Ooh. peel, right? Ooh. Yeah. But, Excuse uh, me. I'm just going to keep drinking. I don't know. Like I said, uh, they make a lot of great beers down at Jailbreak in Maryland, and it's starting to make its way up north. I think it's far north. You guys found it in um, Elkton? Yeah, Elkton, Maryland, which is not a far uh, drive from Pennsylvania or you know Wilmington, Delaware. You're probably uh, 45 minutes out if you're from Philly or an hour or more. But worth the trip. The fact that they can get some Maryland beers too. in Maryland. Yeah. Maryland ain't too far away, thankfully. They do can um, a lot of their uh, drafts that they do when they're in there. They don't sell food in the place. You know, they have food mm. trucks that'll be outside. I think I mentioned that in the other show. Yeah. Um, they're all about beer, and, and they take a lot of pride in it. And unfortunately, this one isn't, you know, offered up as much as I think it should be. But I think yeah. what I'm loving about this, it, it reminds me a lot of Mahalo Apollo, which is what I love from Iron Hill. It's, yeah, a, it's, it's that so summer refreshing. kind of, it really, it's just, it's got that peppery bite and that lighthearted crispness, and then like that, the cucumber though just gives it a little extra, extra level, man. It's good. I, I love the cucumber in it. I love it. And, like and I said, for a customer that's not a big yeah, fan of I know, cucumbers, I, don't even like, <laughs> I get my cucumbers up on every salad just because I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of cucumber itself, but hey, I don't care. You know what, I think... Tell me it's a cucumber and beer and I'll drink it. Seriously, I mean, I, I'm just thinking now, it's, it's a really good sipping summer beer, which you don't really get. Like, summer is usually all about, it's like, as many as you can, as fast as you can. Right. No there's no, there's not much like. taste there, yeah. But yeah, like, even still, it's, it's like, oh, it's a great summer beer, but it's like... And, like, this is, like, one you really like to... Yeah, it's kind of this is like a nice sit back and taste it, like a nice salad, yeah, like, like a summer salad you want to really savor, you know what I mean? Like I mean, you're, you're talking a, about sessions, and it's like, oh, session beers means there's less alcohol, so I can drink six. It's like, no, it's like, it's, it should just be hanging and, you know, enjoying the drink that you, had, you know, that you have in front of you, and I think this beer is excellent for that. It's a great summer sipper, for sure. It kind of slows down time, you know, like all those yeah. times you're out there and you're just like pounding beers, pounding beers, pounding beers, just like you just have... 
you can just kind of savor a little bit and enjoy the taste of it. Yeah, you don't feel like you got to rush through it. Yeah. Even though I'm killing Even though I'm, I'm feeling like I'm rushing. <laughs> I know, that's the thing. I know. That's Even though I wish you had more. You'll, yeah. you'll catch yourself and be like, it's wow, like, I drank that already. You have four more of these, right? No? No? Nah, I wish. <laughs> Yeah, and and they, another thing is, is they like sell them by packs? the four. Yeah, they sell them by the four and pack. Even they don't. Small. They're they don't. Yeah, they're twelve uh, twelve ounce four packs. They don't this sell is a six packs there. Shit here. Twelve ounce four pack. Wow. Yeah, a twelve ounce four pack Below is the Mason what they get there. Line. Yeah. Imagine that. That last pick on the field almost looks like a Mike and Egg or something. There doesn't look at that thing. So come right at you. <laughs> yeah, Mike and Egg. <laughs> Looks like something else, that. but I won't mention it on yeah. radio. I don't know how many little kids might Yeah, why is he drinking like a margarita with like a cucumber things. in it? I, that's what I don't get. He's a farmer so with a margarita. It should be a beer mug. And I'll tell you I what, agree. that's a very ill-advised uh, spot for a, uh, a pitchfork right there. I know. That's just, you're asking for trouble. Farmer Brown. Farmer. Whoever this guy is. Dumbass. Farmer dumbass. Man. Oh, excuse me. It doesn't this make you the, gassy. I think it's because I've been drinking a little uh, bit today. Yeah, it so. It's the coriander. No, there's no coriander in this. No, it's maybe. something. Like, yeah, what, what was the... Uh, yeah, what were the other there's things? The juniper berries, berries, and there's... I tell you what, the juniper mix is it's subtle, but it's nice. I think it's, it's a good it's a good mix of stuff. It really is. It's a, it's a really good recipe for a beer, I think. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I can see a lot of other people liking this one. I drink a lot of Saison's that are lemony, and Saison's that are peppery, and Saison's that have this and that. And then this really has its own identity, I think. It, it's, it's good. Well, from, they, a, from a really well, jailbreak, yeah, like, oh, they're going to make a Saison? You know, that's kind of complex. They, they a take bit. some pride in it. I mean, these yeah. guys, I think they're trying to expand it a little bit. They're kind of smaller. They're not like your, um, well, I, I'm not going to, you know, they're not like the Fordhams. They're not, you know, your mm -hmm. uh, heavy seas. You they're not, you know, video. your other, you know, <laughs> your other bigger micro brews. These guys are still kind of like starting out. And again, like I said, this, this one. I've always told them it's the best, but maybe that's just my personal opinion. Yeah. But for the summertime and when it's hot there. out, yeah. this is my favorite hot out. I don't. I'm not a big stout guy when it's 95 degrees outside right. in the summertime, and I'm out there drinking a you know a big coffee. I'll do that when for, yeah, October, drink for your sure. Oktoberfest. Oh yeah, I'll, oh, I'll yeah, drink the that. I'll drink the hell out of that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was 95 degrees today in Philly, by the way. It was nice all all week. Great golf weather, 70 yeah, degrees no, today, Africa hot. <laughs> Africa hot. Freaking Africa Don't blame hot. us, okay? Blame but me. great beer when it's Africa yeah. hot. Yeah. Um, thank when you so much for that. This is awesome beer. Cheers, awesome. man. Yeah. Slauncha. Slauncha. Beautiful. Prost. Oktoberfest. If you can find it, they're Octobers. still canning and still brewing it. Who knows? Is this um, like a limited edition? It's going to... I don't know. I don't know how often they brew it. I've never seen it there in the winter time or the fall time. I never time, saw a can. I was there once in person, and they only had big probably Punisher yeah, and big Punisher though. They'll the usually have their canning. most popular stuff, and usually what you're going to get yeah. in bars with uh, Jailbreak it's is going to be their version. The closest thing I can compare it to is Yingling. It's going to be their Amber Ale. Uh, I don't want to call it that, but that's usually what the bars will purchase right. when they're it's getting like because is, that's what they yeah, sell like, the most like of. Like the Vita Amber Ale, that's how they, they kind of get. I mean, that. I really think if they made a push for this beer in some places, especially like in you know Ocean City, Maryland, or you know on the Jersey Shore, I think Kids this would Maine. be a really popular beer. You know, when you're when you're on the beach. Personal opinion, of course. Yeah, you gotta definitely, definitely check it out yourself. I definitely have a growl with this one. I'm digging for shells, you know, <laughs> just walking along the beach line. <laughs> digging up some horseshoe crabs. Screw it. I know. My food pairing would be white. Horseshoe crab soup. <laughs> yeah, white pizza with broccoli. White oh, yeah. sand crabs. All the boardwalk. That's crabs. where I fail because I don't eat that much, so I don't know what the good food pairing is. You don't for eat this that much. Come on. I, you probably I know. I, 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 this is all about the drinking, not the food. A big slice of white pizza, man. This beer. Get it. Mm. Really? You, uh, you yeah. picture this? Oh, with no, like yeah. Garlic, yeah. Oh, it almost has a garlicky kind of bite to it. It's it's no. It's, oh, okay. All right. I like that. No. No. All right. Well, we don't do food pairings anymore. I say so seafood. Food seafood pairings. for sure, though. Seafood for sure on this one. Yeah. You see yeah. this one? I can, a little I bit could, of sea bass. Oh, I could kill some steamers, like just a, like some you peel shrimp and maybe like a bunch of steamers, <laughs> man. I would <laughs> kill it. Would this would go okay with crabs? Uh, yeah, I can do crabs with that for sure. For sure. Yeah. It's, it'll, a little, it's a little, little peppery, it's a little more, you know, a little more bitey, but you know what, I can, well, you know, I'm there for them to eat them, I can just sit there and Shit, I used to be, I used to be a little like guy with crabs, and, uh, and 
whatever, bowls them light with crabs, and now I'm drinking IPAs with crabs just because it's not, you know. You drank that whole thing, didn't you? Uh, of course. <laughs> well, well, you're not that far behind. My goodness gracious. Close. You're set, set behind. Thanks. Oh, one, two, four. The beer's really good. It was delicious. Yeah, Bev's got a bunch. We're going to attack Bev. Bev, our sound editor and mixer and uh, guest of, <laughs> of honor. Still has three quarters still has, of the I know, and we're going to kill it. <laughs> okay, give me like a sip, just a little slip. I knew I should have brought eight. What is, what, Bev, what do you think? Pretty good? It's little backstory about this. I left this. I, I love it. I think it's delicious. I, I really do. I this four too. pack, it was at one of my company happy hours. You know, I and I left this four pack behind and left it <laughs> on the table I was sitting at and went and left for the day. And it was still sitting there, and someone grabbed it for me, thankfully, and called me the next day and said, I think you bought a four-pack and left it here. I'm like, oh, oh thank you for getting it. Nice. Thank you for getting it. So we found your lost umbrella at the bar, pretty that's much, right? Pretty that, much, that we got yeah, here? That's pretty much what you got. <laughs> Dude, favorite summer beer, and he just... And I left and it yeah, behind. Yeah. And, but just tossed them up to his... That's what happens when you're drinking these here. These saisons, though, one last word for me. If you're a heavy drinker, like I am, and you guys are, if you're drinking a lot of beer all day long, you're drinking, like, some heavy stuff, and you're drinking whatever, at the end of the night, like, when you have a saison, though, and, like, something like this, it's really just, it perks up, dude. It just, it gets you, it wakes the taste buds, it wakes your mind, it gets you just going again. Like, that's that's all I know. It's for beautiful. sure. Like, it really, right. it really, like, I could have, like, shit, like, three or four or five shitty tastings all night long, and then I have something like this, and I'm like, man, this is really good like this really it's got me going again that's that's the way i feel about this beer it's exciting and it's awesome dude i love it that's the way i feel right now i'm just i'm ecstatic that i tried this beer tonight because it's just it's got me going cousin jeff two for two two for two man bring it home for the state rock and roll now next time we'll have a moonshine thing from west virginia let's see how our cousins take peach moonshine and throwing up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe that won't happen. It's a beer show. It might happen. It might happen. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Like beer is beer is wine and spirits hey. and everything. Now they're all doing their own thing now. So you know whatever it is. We're, we're, yeah. yeah, I'm game. I just learned about some moonshine, so we'll talk about that. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah. Look, if it has alcohol in it, you just freaking bring it up. All right, we're not. We're not. We're not. You know, we'll you know, we'll I don't care if it's beer or not. You know. I'm always willing to be the smoking, the legal, bandit, illegal, bringing illegal. freaking alcohol across state yeah. lines. I'm not scared. Yeah. If you're scared, great. say you're scared. That's right. That's what I want no to be like. The, these are like the Dukes of Hazzard episodes when they got the special guy. <laughs> I know. We got episode. Cousin Jet the bootlegger up here. <laughs> Coming out from Virginia. <laughs> yeah, means moonshine, y'all. <laughs> uh, Look at some of this shit this guy's got. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to make it? That grapefruit beer is going to taste like shit after this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. No, it isn't. It's right. going to taste good. But yeah. that was that was refreshing. Yeah, All right. Was Jailbreak. Man, Give it up. Awesome. That's a good one. Check them out. Yeah, the Maryland. cucumbers are good. Yeah, good Get deal. down really there if you're in Make the Make more cucumber area. jailbreak. Yes, Seriously. Absolutely. Make it. Make if it. Try to area. Drive a little further south. Look at Triple D. Look at some restaurants down there. Make a road trip out of it. Mm. Get some. I'm putting it up and on your got, page. I'm putting trucks. it up on your page. We're going to put it up. We're going to put it all on the page. It's going to be on the page. We're putting you on the news. Um, we're putting you on the news, the, jailbreak. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. okay. So. All right. Thanks. Well, thank you. Thanks for thanks drinking. For drinking. Is that what we say? Thanks for, thanks for whatever. I don't know. Man, it's been a long night. Great. That was amazing. Adios, <laughs> chef. Slauncha. Slauncha. Let's get like for cheers for those that are right. Uh, Of being that clown. Welcome to the aftertaste. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember it being that cloudy. Really? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Who cares? It's really cloudy. But the now? thing is, I, the thing is, Trains. I got the cucumber. Trader. Not a trader. Yeah, trader, trader, trader. Not a trader, fan. Beverly? Actually, no, I love it. it. Yeah. Do you I really love it? Too. Good. Yeah. Oh, Get on in here. Get on in here. Get on in here. What time it was? Show us your phone, dude. What the fuck you got? Show the camera the phone. Thank shit. PBR. Oh, he baby. Sh- he his- my daughter's got me this after my uh, dad passed away, so I will always oh, keep man. a PBR. Your daughters are awesome, though. On the back of my phone. That's right. Until I, follow, I get I follow until, your until, I get, until I get a seven. I follow your family. Once I get an iPhone, say, yeah. what's the 
Why are phones getting bigger, by the way? That's what I don't understand. My phone's it's like, small. are we supposed to have like smaller things? Like, My phone's a piece of shit. Before too long, we're going to be in the 80s again. We're going to have big fucking shit hanging from our freaking ears. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let they me have a fucking again. phone I can fit in my pocket. Yeah, where is it going to go? Thank like, you very much. Well, when phones get that big, like, what's the tablet going to be? I don't know. Like, one for you, so you'll never be without a pass on the And you can have, like, a Zoolander phone. Like, the little one. Yeah. That's the funny thing is, they, like, TVs, TVs, <laughs> yeah. like, started, they, they, TVs have an apex, like, 60, 80, whatever. Like, TVs have only gotten so, so big, you know? And then your computer screens are so big, and then you got, like, these tablets that are so big, and phones, and... It all starts with the phone. Like, you make a phone 12 inches, well, my tablet's going to be 15 inches. Well, fuck you, then my fucking computer's going to be 20 inches. And then my, my TV's going to be 80 inches. You know what I mean? It's, it's insane. Like, it just... Stop! Yeah. Stop the insanity! But that's all it is. It's phones, tablets, computers, and We're going TVs. in the wrong direction. And that's all, that's all it is. That's all there is. Like, is that all we care about is screens anymore? Like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Screens. That's all it is, is a screen. Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't realize. My phone's been blowing up. I was supposed of to course be saying today. Blowing up. I had to move my whole desk. It took me like 40 minutes at work to like move all the little pencils and papers and clips and... Wait a minute, wait. Do you use pencils at work? Holy I, have, I have magnetic... I, only, I haven't used a pencil since math homework in sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> Who's allowed to fucking use a pencil? Yeah, well, Sorry. I, yeah. Line, line. yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. No, you're right. I, I, we should be outraged about pencil use. Yeah. Fuck pencils! <laughs> and you know what else? But you know what? Fuck you. If you use a pencil, fuck you. Right? And you know what? Fuck you people picking up your dog shit. Because you ruined it for everybody. Why are we picking up dog shit? You know what? Kids don't play outside anymore. Guess what? And you know what? If you do play outside, we knew how to scrape dog shit off the bottom of her fucking foot. Yeah, that's right. If you exactly. accidentally... Exactly. And everybody stepped in dog shit every day in the 70s and the 80s. You just freaking went up to a curb. You scraped it off as best you could. Then you will get it in some water and fucking got that shit off. And then you grabbed a stick... If it was stuck in creases in your foot, you just got it with the stick and yeah. grabbed it with the right. stick. Oh, God. I, remember, that's, that's I remember the, the phrase, I remember the phrase, who said the dog on. shit wasn't a bully term. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? I know. Like, who said the bull, dog shit? Because everybody did it. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean it was like who said the dog shit? And you're like, oh my god, it wasn't me. You, but you hoped it wasn't you. But you were, not, not because like, not because like it was like harmful, like a predetermined. Like, like, oh shame my god, now. like oh my god, you stepped to the dog. Like, it might have been me. Oh, it was. Like, oh. I know. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I track that through your house right. on your brand new Oriental <laughs> carpet? I did it. Fucking my bad, man. How many times you? I did it. I did it like four years ago. And I told her, and she's like, oh, you, you, you know, oh, the dog poops in the yard. And I'm like, I'm not there to smoke Don't worry, it's only really Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> it's fine. How many times is your friend like, like uh, your friend's like, oh, look out for the dog shit, and you always step yeah, right yeah, in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you said look out for it, you yeah, always like, right yeah, in yeah, it. Like, oh, just, just like Laura Scott. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, you're going to, oh, damn, uh, you just stepped yeah, in that fucking It happens. The full step would have been over it, but they said something, you're like, oh, what? Oh, it was right there. Where oh, but it was fresh, it was wet, it wasn't yeah. even dry. Who the fuck are you out here in the first place? Why Welcome to the dog shit. dog shit. Before you have people Welcome though. to the dog shit episode. Speaking of aftertaste, this, this aftertaste is like dog shit. No, I'm just uh, actually, it has really no aftertaste. It's all taste uh, yeah, the same from start to finish. It's amazing. Honestly, it is amazing beer, I think. It's a really clean, uh, it's a really clean beer. It's very right. different. You know, Saison with cucumber and all these spices and fruits. And it's not. It's not. It just surprises me when it's that amazing. cloudy it's and it comes down sweet. that way. It's not too. It's it's a nice. So I, it, it. The cucumber really is just nice. just enough too. Like you really get the cucumber. I do anyway. Oh, I, I really do. Burp, I mean, it's dude, nice. Burp, yeah. I'm just thinking the cucumber. Yeah. I know. It's very gory, <laughs> like, like a fresh. It's like yeah. Oh, yeah. No. I'm surprised you you don't mind the. I don't. I mean, I like cucumber more now as an adult than I did when I was a kid. You know what I mean? You like cucumber? Well, I mean. If it was just like beet beer, I would really uh, I probably wouldn't even drink it. Thing. Oh my god, no, if it was a beet beer, I would be all over it. If it was a beet beer, I would be all over it. I would kill it. Oh my god. Oh, just give me like a beetroot IPA or something, or a beet. Oh my god. As far as like oh my next god. time, the next ingredients time. ingredients in my salad, I don't want a beer made out of. Okay. See, they like, won't do that though. Maybe they will. Well, because there's like brewers it, yeah. are, there's, there's, there's such a problem with There's carrots, There's carrot beers, yeah. There's carrot beers. So. We do stuff on the ground. Good Potato beer. beer. I'm like, wow. Isn't, <laughs> can't we leave some stuff to vodka? 
I'm he surprised. Some stuff I'm surprised these asshole yeah, hipsters so. don't have like a kohlrabi IPA or some shit at this point. Because oh, you know, we're all watch freaking chopped and shit. You know, I'd be like kohlrabi beetroot IPA with a hint of cardamom. Oh, I'm sure they're working on it. Oh, you know they are. You know they are. This is like a good appetizer beer. Appetizer like, like beer. Like a capri salad and like Yeah, hummus. it's not. It could, definitely a good That's salad beer. Definitely a good yes, salad beer. Yes, that would have been a good oh, well, yeah, I think this is a great food beer in general. And then you can move on to your white pizza. Yeah, oh, okay. it, doesn't, um, it doesn't really, it's not going <laughs> to mess with your, you up. It's not going to mess with your taste buds either. For the carnivores you know I mean? out there. And I think uh, what you're eating yeah. is not going to mess with that either. Well, because honestly. Broccoli is still did, a, a, that a nice by the way? vegetarian style option. Because I was going to mention the Let's face it. I mean, like, that's what I love about this beer. It's like a beer like this is like, I think this you know, beer is a shitload of crappy popcorn like, and crazy oh, whatever the bar. We have like, like five little like, beers, and then you have a beer like hummus. this. And it's like, man, this beer tastes mm. true. Like that's what you want a beer that tastes true. That doesn't. It's not affected by whatever you had before, or whatever you drank before, or whatever you ate before. I mean, trust us. That's true. I did not. I, I did was, not cleanse my palate. We had you did. You did. But I, I mean, I, I mean, I just I drank like ten different kinds of crazy shady beers, and like we this is still probably as good to me as it was to you. This is good beer. It's yeah. like cucumber from awesome. when you drink it to when you end it. Yeah, and it's it good. Is. It's nice. It's good. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. It was a military holiday. The kids were everywhere. Hid behind the steering wheel. And tried to disappear. Tried to speak. Couldn't dad was whistling and drinking beer And I prayed, dear God, if you save this stuff I will never get high, I will never jack off I will do all the things that I should, but not I'll be a good boy